Welcome to Nails and Dish. Nails and Dish with me, Fink Fink. Nails and Dish, Nails and Dish, Nails and Dish with Fink Fink, yeah. So today, we're gonna be doing our nails while dishing. Today, I'm gonna be doing light nail polish with hot pink stripes because guess what? Pink is the best color ever, second to none. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna be working on my stripes while we dish. What are we dishing about today? I'll tell you, bad textures. Oh, no she didn't. Yes, I did, we're going there. And I can't get this open, why? I really can't get this open. I got it open. Here's the thing, you don't have to be the most perfect texture as long as you text quickly. So I'm with my friend, she's like, listen Vic, I got some dish. She knows me, I love me some dish. And I'm not talking about food. So I was like, whoa, what's up girl? She was like, listen, I am so annoyed because my boyfriend is a bad texter. He'll take forever to respond, leave me hanging for hours, and I'm just like, Oh, really? So here's the thing. The problem with that is when you're in a relationship, it's like my text should be God's gift to you. Well, at least that's what I think, you know. But so anyways, I was like, listen, this reminds me of a time my other friend was like dating this guy and he would take like decades to respond. Like we would get through like three PLL episodes, Pretty Little Liars. And he still wouldn't text back. And when he would text back, it'd be like, <laughs> Hallelujah. And the problem with that, it's like, then you start making excuses for them. Like she'd be like, um, he's watching Pretty Little Liars too, and he just he's just scared that A's gonna text him, so he's putting his phone to the side. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Girl, please. Anyway, so I told my friend, I was like, listen girl, listen, bad textures are dangerous. They are a problem to society, um, and they need to be stopped. So here's how we stop it. So I was like, listen, I, this is how I feel. I feel like if you're just dating someone, he's not your, if he's not your boo thing, you know, y'all are not committed. It's like, he doesn't really owe you to text you back. Him not texting you back right away, I kind of feel like is like a sign that he's just really not into it. Cause I mean, if he's into it, like I said, your text is gonna be God's gift to him. But if he's in a committed relationship with you, then he best to believe he needs to text you back like now. And so this is what you gotta do. What you gotta do is get him one of those belt clip things for his phone so that he can put his phone on his belt so this way he never loses it and it's at all times on him even in the shower he should just bring it in the shower like there's waterproof phones i'm sure so just there's no excuse like and you should change his ringtone for you for your text only to something like crazy like So this way he knows, oh snap, she's texting me, she's calling, I gotta respond. So in conclusion, bad texters will be bad texters. Maybe there's some cure to it that the scientists will discover something, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, almost done on my nails so you guys can see. Let me know what you think this time and uh, comment below. Do you have a bad texter in your life? Are you trying to get rid of them? Have you suffered serious injuries from this bad texture? Share. And don't be afraid to dish, because that's what this is all about. Here's the final product. I hope you like it. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm like incapable of making perfect looking meals. So my philosophy is just, what of it? Who cares? It's not gonna be perfect. But next week I will have a different design and a different dish. Bye. Nails and dish, nails and dish, nails and dish with big, big, yeah.